India became the first country to land a spacecraft near the moon's south pole today. Ron Trevino in the newsroom now with what this historic mission means for us here in Space City, Ron. Hey, Mia, major, major space news today. India is on the moon, landing on a very important part of the moon, important for future missions there. Scientists and officials clapped, cheered, and hugged each other as the spacecraft landed this morning, and people all across India broke out in celebration on the streets, in the classrooms. India is the fourth nation to successfully land a spacecraft on the moon after the U.S., China, and the former Soviet Union, but it's where they landed that is so important. The moon's south pole, that region's ice could supply fuel, oxygen, and drinking water for future missions. Meanwhile, here in the Houston area, it's a proud day for those of Indian heritage, a huge community. Many, many times we looked at a country uh, like India as more like a developing or sometimes people use the word third world country. And um, that is not that nation anymore because it is they are um, <clears throat> one of the largest economies in the world today and even uh, technologically advancing. Fort Bend County Judge KP George, who was born and raised in India. This mission also includes a lunar rover that will explore the surface of the moon. It's going to include a number of experiments and paves the way for partnerships with NASA. Meanwhile, Houston-based Intuitive Machines plans to become the first private company to land on the moon in November. And as you may know, NASA has its Artemis II mission to the moon set for next year. Exciting times for Space City as we look to the moon once again. Yes. Ken and Mia. Yes, it's been a while since we've gone. Thank you, sir.